Hello and welcome to this video lesson on areas of composite shapes. Our learning goal is I can analyze areas of composite shapes. And our language goals are I can talk about areas of composite shapes using words like shapes, composite shapes, and area. Before we begin talking about how to find the areas of composite shapes, we need to understand what composite shapes are. A composite shape is a shape made up of two or more basic shapes. And we can find the areas of composite shapes by finding the areas of the basic shapes and then adding them together. For example, this house shape is made up of a square and a triangle. To find the area of the house, all we need to do is find the area of the square and the area of the triangle and then add them both together. Let's do it right now. Let's start with finding the area of the house. To find the area of the house, let's first remember our formula for finding the area of a rectangle. And remember, a square is just a special kind of rectangle. To find the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length by the width. So let's measure two of the dimensions of our shape to get the length and width. We get a width of four centimeters and we can actually just note that here so that we don't lose track. So four centimeters is our first dimension. And now let's just move our ruler and see what we get for the height. And that looks like it is four centimeters as well, which confirms that this is in fact a square because a square is a rectangle with four equal sides. Now, we have to multiply four by four to get the area of our rectangle using our formula here. So if area equals length times width, the area of this rectangle will be four times four which gives us a total area for this square of 16 square centimeters. Now let's find the area of our triangle. To do that, first we should recall what the formula of the area of a triangle is. If we remember, the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two, or base times height over two, or some people say one half base times height, meaning multiply the base times the height, and then multiply that by one half. And as we know, multiplying by one half or halving is exactly the same as dividing by two. But let's use this formula, base times height over two or base times height divided by two. So let's find the base and height of our triangle. Well, this probably isn't a surprise since we knew our square measured four centimeters on each side and our triangle lines up exactly with the dimensions of the square, but it's always best to measure to be sure. And we find that the base of our triangle is four centimeters. Now we need to find the height. And to do that, I'm going to move the ruler and just lock it on to the vertex opposite the base and then turn my ruler to be exactly perpendicular. And I can see that the height of this triangle is three centimeters. So I'm going to note that there. And I can move my ruler out of the way. Sometimes it's a good idea to just draw a line showing the height of the triangle so that we can see which dimension, which measurement refers to which dimensions. We put our four centimeters for our base and our three centimeters for our height so that we don't lose track. So now let's use our formula to help us figure out the um, area of the triangle. So, if we say the area of the triangle is base times height divided by two, our base is four, four times three divided by two is the same as saying 12 divided by two, which is the same at, which equals six. So we can say that our area of our 
triangle is six square centimeters. 16 plus six equals 22. So our total area equals 22 centimeters squared or 22 square centimeters. You can do this with any kind of composite shape. First, look to see how the larger shape can be broken down into basic shapes. Find the areas of each of the basic shapes, then add them all up. Remember, some shapes may be composite, but finding their area is simple. Thanks for watching, and remember, the only way to learn math is to do math.